We're going to real Kiwi fishing this week. Steve -O and I in the north. We're on the magical 90 mile. Love this place. We've only fished it a few times, maybe three or four times. And we've always caught fish. steve has got the um, Kontiki on board. And we've also got the surf casters. I'm more here for my surf casting. Caught a couple of big fish here a couple of seasons ago. So I'm back here on the 90, hopefully uh, catching some nice fish on the surf casters again. Is it my 2090? Is it my 20 pounder 90? How's that guys? Stonker of a 90 mile snapper. Beautiful fish, beautiful condition. I hope we get a few fish on the Kontiki as well, we normally do. Hope we get fish overall. Hope you guys enjoy. Got a low tide around four o'clock. So my surf casting is gonna sort of kick in around that sort of lower tide. I like fishing on the low tide. I know there's a few holes. I've just picked this spot here. We've got a couple of little holes out here in front of us. Got the good old Kotare with me. And I brought along the Soul Surf as well. Thought I'd probably give that a bit of a kick today. Chuck on one of those uh, suicide hooks and just leave it out with a big bait. Hope we get into a few nice snaps, be cool on the surf caster. Got a nice little hole here. I'll probably just um, set up quickly, flick a bait out, and then I'll help Steve-O get a bait out now. And we might even luck a uh, fresh kawai for the Kontiki. Caught a couple of kawai yesterday, and we've cubed them up already. So we've got that for our first couple of sets anyway. Just gearing up the kōtare. T-Rex. My favourite combo. I'm just going to run a uh, 5 ounce breakaway. So this is the rig that I make myself. It's probably about a meter and a half long. I make the um, the dropper loop, make the actual dropper loop like that. It's a loop. Then I cut one end. Preferably, I cut the end that's sort of sagging down. So if you cut the other side, it sort of bows up a bit and it holds your hook out a little bit better. So I've just cut it, leave the tag. And then down to my uh, swivel. So that's just the little trace I make myself. It's just a dropper rig. Little bead, eight baro. Actually quite like using Benito out here, but um, just got some pulleys and squid with me today, which is okay. So I'll just go grab half a pulley, flick her out. So just half pulley, I've got the head here. So all I'm doing is I'm going through the eye right through and then halfway up the body in one side stay in the same side roll the hook and it'll roll out and you just set it nicely like that and then your magical cotton Set your breakaway. Hooks all sorted. Get this bait in. We like to get this uh, first bait in as well because it 
lets us know what way Stevo needs to offset the Kontiki. If it's got that standard northerly drag like it normally does on the west coast. So that's why we like to get that first bait out as well, but also to get a nice fresh kawai. So that tide's on its way out. So I'm just trying a couple of these little holes. Until uh, that lower tide, which I like fishing, getting right out on a lip of a little bank. So we'll see how we go with that. Because we had those already pre-cut, Steve's pretty much finished. Just gonna finish off these these last baits. Chuck in those three or four in behind that last sinker. That we always seem to do quite well on. All baited up. It's actually uh, hundreds of little pippies. I mean little, like half the size of your little fingernail. All on the water here on top of the sand. Which is quite cool to see, but a lot of them will probably end up dying. I'm not too sure how that works, how that system works. But there's hundreds of them. Little baby hippies. Okay guys, we're all baited up. It's pretty quick with those um, kawai fillets already cubed up for us. And uh, there's those sort of last four that we like to have on that back end of that sinker. Don't know why, it just seems to do quite well for us. Okay guys, Steve's dropping her in. Our first set on the magical 90. So we should have no um, problem setting it today. It's under a meter. Starting to get that little bit of a um, northerly drag there. It's not too bad. Actually, um, had a couple of little bites. I thought I saw the rod sort of have a couple of um, bites wound it in just to keep it out of the way of our set and the bait was uh, sort of bitten in half so maybe a bit promising for the surf caster the last sinker on and these are these three or four that we sit in behind. Last one going on. She's away.
Okay, hey guys, Contiki's on its way out. It's gonna leave Stevo to it to finish it off. I wanna get another bait out. Like I was saying, I got a, got a little nudge when I wound it in. The uh, bait was pretty much bitten. Looked like snapper bites. So let's get another bait out there. Tide's going out pretty quick. I think there's actually a bit of a uh, bit of a rip here in this hole. So what we'll do, depending on that contiki, if we um, catch a few fish, we might stay put. But I actually wouldn't mind moving a bit. I can feel that rip. It's pulling straight out. But uh, I did have those bites, so we'll see how we go. Okay, Stevo's cranking her in. First set. We'll see how it goes. She's pretty heavy, guys. Stevo's having to help. We're hoping it's not um, due to sharks. We have had a couple of um, sets here before where they've been pretty heavy and it's all just snapper. But we've also had a few heavy ones where there's been sharks. It's got that quite strong northerly flow now. So the outcome will be, um, for our second set, will be what happens on this set. Sort of uh, distance wise and time wise on the soak. Sometimes we do a short set first and then see what happens and then we do a long set. But we've done a long set first and we might do a short set if there's not much fish. <laughs> okay, on to the leader. And it looks like those first few hooks, once again, up by that last sinker, it's pretty much got a fish on every hook. And the first one looks like a solid fish.
That first one's a doozy. Look at that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Take that weed off. Take the weed off. Look at that, guys. What a stonker. You'd be going in the smoker. We might even try and let him go. We got water in the bucket again. Another nice fish. Plan was to do two sets. Might only get away with one. Nice fish coming up. A couple more down by the water. <laughs> more fish, more fish. Not a bad set. Looks like a lot of the baits are pretty much gone. Another nice fish. Mid sinker. A little bit smaller fella, but well takeable. Like a lot of those baits are gone, which is a good sign. Probably just the one more fish. I think I can see the last sinker there. Last little fish. Well, there you go, guys. Not a bad set. Got a bit of a chunky monkey in there. You can see his tail there. Steve, I reckon we've got about seven or eight there. Got that chunky one, so not a bad set. Might do one more, not too sure. Maybe half the, half the hooks, maybe 10 hooks or something. A few being bitten off, eh? The old sharks, we had them. Might have had a few more fish or could have had a few on the hooks and we're lucky we got it back because we had a shark on there. Is it just, oh yeah. There you go guys. Millimeters away from the so Steve actually had a hook there, right there where it's frayed from a shark. He had a hook, miss, uh, hook missing, so either the shark grabbed the fish or had a bait and it got a bit hectic and bit the line so we're lucky we got it back might retie it and have another shot or we might just call it a day on the Contiki and maybe do a bit of surf casting we'll have a bit of a talk and come up with a plan but yeah not a bad first set some nice fish in there okay guys we're gonna try and get it back in the water it's a little bit big for us we'd like to Try and get those ones back if we can, but if she doesn't go back, she'll be going in the smoker. Head will be going off to a uh, a friend. So in the end, if we got to keep her, 
we just got to keep her. We'll just hold her for a little while. Good thing is, doesn't come in real fast. So she might just come right if we're lucky. Good thing is we had water in the bucket. Is it swimming, eh? It's got a little bit of kick, guys. A little bit of kick. You just let him go nice and gently. See him if he will swim, he should come back in if he doesn't feel good. So we'll just keep an eye on him. At least he's swimming. Getting his kick back a little more. We'll just keep an eye on him. He'll probably just slowly make his way out. Yeah, boy! Yeah, yeah. Going home!